Hi guys, welcome back to Transport Fever, and you'll notice uh, this is Chelmsford, and we have a train line in. It's not particularly popular at the moment. I think that was our first ever passenger that got off. Uh, how many have we got on it now? Six. Uh, yes, yeah, so the train line. If I go onto this actually and put this on, you'll see it's a pretty cool train line. Heading for Pudsey. So yeah. So what what it is? We've, look at that. There's rocks on the track. So um, yeah. So we're heading up to Pudsey. So it's uh, I put a train line in to replace all of those horses and carriages that were running up and down between Chelmsford and Pudsey. It was expensive, as you can see, because there's a dirty great tunnel running through the mountain. I was going to run up and over a valley, up up a hill, up a slope, through a valley, and then down you know, the other side of the slope. But I thought, sod it, I've got money. Making some decent dough on our other lines. What I've also done is improved a lot of the uh, the shipping the shipping routes. We've got additional ships now running up and down the river, I'm trying to utilise that river as much as possible, rather than rather than place a perfectly uh, rather than place a, a train line along the banks of a perfectly good river. So the next plan is we're trying to increase the passenger connections, the communication for passengers between the various towns, because I'm. I've got fuel being delivered. I've got food being delivered, but we're still a bit slack on the old uh, on the old passengers. Right, out we pop. I like riding along with these trains. Doot, doot. Uh, as you yeah, so so because of the terrain, you see we've had to we've had to build a bit of a better. Dig down into the terrain a bit to build this line. I forget what you call it. A cutting, that's right, that's what we've done. We've, we've had to build a cutting. And I think we go from a cutting onto an embankment up here. You can see there just to the right that's the um, that's the shed for this line, the shed and the sidings for this line. that so we can follow the rest of the way up on the outside. I've got the expensive train. This one's been unlocked to us now. I forget what it's called. And I've got gone for as many carriages as I can. So hopefully eventually this thing will become a bit more profitable. And of course I put a double line in because the plan is that once we get loads of passenger traffic along here, I uh, will absolutely uh, we'll, we'll have two or three trains running along this line. Might eventually use it for some cargo runs as well. Right, where does that take us? That takes us up here into Pudsey. Pudsey Bear. And we have six people waiting. So the station here covers quite a lot of Pudsey. I might put a bus route in. And it replaces what used to be quite a busy, if you recall, quite a busy uh, passenger line that ran down this road and into Cheltenham. So if I go now into Cheltenham... Here's all of those. Um, here's all of them horses and carriages that have been that I've just replaced with that line. So I'll sell all of this, recoup a little bit of costs, and I've got three like uh, um, mechanized buses, omnibuses, I think they were called. Uh, right, still lots of people waiting though in Cheltenham. So what I'm gonna have to do? Oh no, because I've still got a line here. So at this bus stop now. Line four, four passengers waiting for line four. But in fact, line four is closed. So let's go to line four and officially close it. Right, good. Uh, what I've also got, you'll note, is some tr uh, tram lines that bring the punters to the railway station. So hopefully, then people what was waiting for tram number four, for uh, for the route number four, will eventually just get onto the onto the trams. In here to the railway station. Right, so I mentioned that I'd also been working on the ships. So we've got now uh, quite a few ships that run crude oil up and down and gas oil up and down, and we've got ships that run food 
and livestock backwards and forwards. So food comes down the river to this, to a uh, strood. It goes up these lines that we put in last time and comes back down again as uh, food and gets taken back up the river. If I go up this way and it gets delivered either to uh, Chesham up here or gets dropped off a bit earlier here and gets carried into Ludlow. Uh, right, what's happening here? Cheltenham Food Processing Plant. Where is that? Let's have a look. That's just where we were. And they're saying that there's no... Try to ship more goods. Um, right. That's food coming from up... That's coming from up here, isn't it? Is that because Cheltenham has enough food now to keep it happy? Is that why? No, uh, no. Only 49 out of 107. So what's wrong with you? Why aren't you... Maybe it's because... Maybe it's because this here is getting full. I suspect it's because this here is getting full. So, what to do here? Maybe I could, I'm gonna extend this line down to the coast anyway. And I'm gonna have a little, that'll be the holiday line. That will take us down to the coast and I'm gonna run passenger ships down the river to Strood and I'm going to replace these horses and carriages that come down here. Maybe what I could do is just branch off and have a cargo line that runs from next door up here into a cargo depot. And that way I replace all these trucks here. I'm not sure, it's not a long, it's not a big distance really for, for trucks to run, so. I suspect the problem is, for the horses and carriages, I suspect the problem is that we're just not fast enough taking the food out of here. And it means that this uh, depot is getting absolutely chock-a-block. Livestock coming down. Fuel. No, nothing going up. That's because the fuel would have been dropped off here. Uh, maybe it also means because these horses are carrying, maybe they're all carrying fuel. I don't know why they prioritise fuel. Maybe because there's less fuel. So the demand for fuel is higher. Maybe that's why it is, and maybe that's the way that the mechanics work. In which case, what happens is the we end up with far too much food here. Maybe I need to increase the number of horses and carts there are here. But there, I do have uh, more vehicles available to me now, so maybe I should do a... Uh, I go to line one. I go to vehicles. Wow, it's a lot of vehicles on line one. Wow, what does line, line line one go? Oh yes. Wow, that's a lot of vehicles. Maybe I should run use a put a train service in food down to here and put a. Let's have a look. Mm, yes, it's a, it's quite steep, but maybe I should put food train service in food. Um, and then I just keep some trucks and stuff for the fuel. I think that's what I need to do. I think that's what I need to do. Okay, so that is what we'll do. I want a... Oh, I don't want that. I want that. I want that. Uh, let's turn this around. This is not going to be easy because, look, we've got to try and get this thing. Oh, that's a pain. We're going to have to run him sort of sideways, aren't we? And down and along. Oh, that's going to be a pain. That's going to be a pain. We'll just sort of run him in like this. It's going to be a steep old curve for this train line. Maybe he's going to go down the other side of... Um... Hmm, how are we going to do this? Or maybe run him down this way and through the farm along that way what's a pain in the butt that's going to be and maybe I run him from here and have a few trucks take stuff backwards and forwards ah. how to do this it's a pain in the butt 
around thinking about going down a route of Victorian engineering and just put him in right there and then we'll have to run a bit of a viaduct and hope that we can get down to, to ground level. Right, let's see how this goes. So we oh we want the line. And we want it to go down the way. Look at this. Ooh, it's expensive. Why isn't he going down? I want him to go down. Oh, I made a big error. Um, oh, it's supposed to be going. Is it not? Is it not somewhere I'm supposed to have this going down? Be able to go down the hill. Um, doesn't doesn't seem to be changing anything. The way I'm doing this. Um. Let me see. Why isn't he going? Or maybe he's going downhill, but just it's just far too steep for him. Hmm. That might have been a mistake. I might have to bulldoze this. This. Um, let's try putting a wooden a, a metal one in. I want him to go down. What happens if I go up? Oh, I see. Okay, I want him to go down. That's right. He's not. Um. Oh, he's okay. Oh no, that's not going to work, is it? <laughs> what happens over here then? <laughs> Look at that. It's like a roller coaster. Um, Bing, right. I mean, maybe if I put a bit of, maybe if I put a little line down here, maybe he would be kind of forced to join up with it. Let me see if I put a little bit of line down here like this. This is kind of costing me, but right now, if I join these two up, too much slope. No, so I'm gonna go that way. So how about I try this way? Uh, and then join him into that. Uh, no, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Why doesn't that? Why doesn't that viaduct drop down? Is it because it's is it is dropping down already, but it's just not dropping down enough? What a pain in the hoop! Can I put? A, can I? What happens if I? Oh. See, even if I try and run the train down along here. Maybe have the have the station facing this way and then f curve around is not going to work either. Ooh, maybe I've got to run. Maybe I've got to run the uh, uh, trucks and horses and carriages up to this one. Maybe it's just not possible to run mm, anything other than that. I think I have to bulldoze this. So so much for Victorian engineer Victorian engineering. That was a disaster. Uh, yeah, that was a right pain. Has this thing just delivered food? Is it always carrying food up the river? Hmm. Hmm. Does Strood get food delivered to it, by the way? It doesn't. Well, why don't we just deliver food down to Strood as well? Because we have so much of it here. There's no harm in, in running a boat service, would there? Just down straight down to Strood. Let me see about that. Let me just put a, put one boat on down to Strood. One boat. Now that's a passenger boat, I think, isn't it? Oh no, it's a paddle steamer. Well, I'll get one of these ones anyway. That's 187. Yeah, I'll buy that. And I'll say set a line, new line, and we'll go from. I'm not sure he's going to get under the bridge though. That's the only thing. Oh, he, he should do because I've from there down to there. You just carry whatever you want, mate. Right. So we get another warning here for the Chelmsford, yeah, Cheltenham uh, food processing. That's because we've got too much stuff here in our in our depot. That is a problem. But this, but this oh, line one. Line one carries food. Who's this guy? He's line one. He's carrying fuel. He's line fourteen. 
what's this guy going to carry? How many horses do we have on line one then? Who's this guy? Line one takes us. Okay, that's doing the full route. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that is a bit of a pain. Um, it'd be nice to run a. It would have been nice to run a road, uh, a horse, a uh, um, run a train down here. I'm just wondering if it's worth us putting a road straight up just to just to decrease the amount of time it takes for the horses to get backwards and forwards and just bypass the city centre a bit. Let's look into that. Let's put a road in. Uh, I don't want a tramway. Just want a small. I'll put a medium country road in. Oh, see that goes down via a, a bridge as well. I'm going to put a big bridge in. Put a big bridge in. Thank you very much. I could kind of put one expensive though, isn't it? No, I don't really want to do that. Uh, how about we put a station in? All right, let me go back to looking at this. You see, all of them need, all of them need a. Uh, all of them need a, a viaduct of some description. I could put this in and put the train, put the station a bit higher up and have it delivering from here up to the train station. That's what I might have to do. That is what I might have to do. Let me little think about this. Right, so this is what I've built. And you'll notice my absolute error in a moment. So we run from up here. We'll connect this road up to this. Uh, we'll, run tr we'll run coaches up there. Uh, uh, trucks and horses and carts up to the station. We run the f grain of the uh, meat product down over this rather expensive viaduct down to the meat processing plant. And then, of course, we have to run food into Cheltenham. So I'm probably just going to have to continue to run horses and carts um, up along this bit of road. But at least we'll miss out We'll be able to remove them from this section here, and I'll be able to sell some of them. <sighs> right, is this train making us a profit yet, by the way? Finances, oh no, definitely not. But there's more and more people uh, wanting to travel on it. So, that was a complete disaster. Disaster, darling. But never mind. The Victorians would not have been put off by something as daft as that, so that's fine. So let me put this. Can you just attach them straight on there? No, you can't. Um, let me put this on here. So we can actually run a train on this rather expensive. Uh, it's an engineering marvel, but it's a rather expensive engineering marvel. So we want to run our little road up to here. There you go. Right. So the train's got to carry um, meat. I mean, it doesn't have to. It could carry grain, of course, if we wanted it to. But it's just a one-way trip. It's going to go back up empty, which is uh, not really what we want. So let's buy a cheapish train. Um, maybe we need a more expensive one. <gasps> expensive. And I'm losing money. Where am I losing money? Okay, I'm still making it just about, but so let's buy this thing here and let's buy freight wagons. So what do we want? I think we want to take open wagons, takes, so it's going to be livestock, plastic machines, tools, food or goods. Uh, we don't want to take grain, I don't suppose. So we'll take... We'll take the meat products and we use the grain for oil and plastic later. Bye, 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 bye. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm. Well, I mean, it's doing most of its work going downhill, so that's not too bad. Um, the whole point of this was to remove some of this food from here, wasn't it? So this is a complete disaster. 
Um, yes, this is not what we wanted. Never mind. Uh, no, I don't want to buy another one. Um, so we'll set a line for this new line here down to here. Yes, I know. It's a disaster. Not what we wanted. Right, now what we can do is uh, on line number one we can delete I think Cheltenham North. Remove Cheltenham North and then we should just get so line number one should just then run straight into Cheltenham Central. What we are going to need though is a new line. So some of you guys up here, so you for example, you can go into a new line which is going to be there. Oh cracky haven't put that thing in. There to this rather expensive waste of time. There, add station to there. And that is line 26, is it? Okay. Which means that, okay, so you've turned around. So these two guys, you can also go into line 26. As can you. Go on to line 26. As can you. Go on to line 26. As can you, horse face. Go on to line... 26. <sighs> right, we're going in, turn around. Okay, and he has done so already. And you can turn around as well. Yes! Disaster. So that just does just mean that we have loads of horses and carriages running backwards and forwards, and they should help clear. Let's speed up time, let's see if they help then clear. So it's coming down. Should start seeing this clear of food soon enough. How much food have we got in here? Food line 180. Wow. I wonder there's not enough room for these guys. What's he just delivered? Oh, he's picked up food. Oh, that's the one that goes down to Strood. That's good. And he's picked up how much food? 50 of the darn stuff. That's good. And that is good. And he goes down to Strood. And from Strood, it should then get delivered. Okay, it doesn't actually deliver. This guy, I don't think. No, that's right. It doesn't actually deliver it into the city centre. Just kind of goes into the general population here. So um, I wonder how that works. Let's wait till he comes down. See how much. Because it's got food there. Why isn't that food being delivered? Maybe it's because we don't have a. We don't really have a depot here to do it. Let me see now. Let's put a depot in. I put it there. Does he cover the harbour? I think he does. What I'll do though is I'll. I don't really need that one. I'll delete that. I'll put a depot in just. <laughs> just there. 51,000. Cool. Bet it. I'll put that in there. And then we'll run. Have we got horses down? Have we got some places for horses here? So what are these guys? Are these guys running? Are these guys running backs and forwards with construction materials? Yeah, of course. Uh, so I'll put in. Now let's try out. What's this new vehicle I've got? It's this thing here, the DMG Canstat. It can tow 25 kilometers an hour, and they can do 20. All right. Let's buy three of these things. Set line. Set line. New line. There to there. And you will be taking basically food. Right, so let's speed this up a bit. This is not quite the way I wanted this episode to go. Let's let's speed this up a bit and see if this food actually gets we start getting making inroads into this food surplus we got down at this 
down at this uh, depot. Okay, seems we're doing okay. We're going to have another ship arrive at some point. Uh, no, here's the train arriving. What's he carrying? Livestock. Yep. Okay. Some of which he delivers onto here. So he carries livestock, makes it into food. The food gets delivered, some of it to here, and some of it to here. There's a busy boy, that uh, that food plant there. So are we making inroads into it? Slowly. Let's have a look up here now. How's this little lot going? Have we got enough running battles and forwards up here? Crikey, it's loads of this stuff as well. Is he 74? How busy is 160? And he's got to upgrade again in four months. Might need, how much has he got on him? 20 out of 32. Might need another couple of uh, trucks running along here. Anyway. I need to keep an eye on my money as well. How are we doing? Oh, losing money here. Okay, okay. Should start making a profit again this year, I hope. Let's see which lines are profitable. Line number one isn't profitable at the moment, but I think it's because I did so much messing around with it. Uh, let's look at all of them. So, line one, we know that. Line 11 says isn't profitable. Losing 94k a year on that at the moment. Line 20. Now, the, the shipping lines sort of come and go because they take so long to get up and down the river that it looks like they're unprofitable for long periods of time, but as soon as they hit their port, then they jump up into profit. And line 25, okay, that's losing money, but that's because we've only just put him in. Uh, line one's got 190 now, and it was like, uh, it was only 100, it was only, what was it? Um, 100, it was 50, 155 before, so it's, some reason, and maybe we just increase production. Hmm. Strange. Oh, there's the there's the boat arrived with all of its with all our gas oil. There we go. Two hundred and seventeen k. Fill up a gas oil now as well. Hmm. Okay, we'll keep an eye on that. Back over to Cheltenham. And how are we doing here with regard? 27%. Now that's good population. So that means more and more people should be using this train service. Good. Here they are. And here comes another tram. Is it full up? Nine people. So I might put another tram on that line. So let's stick another tram on. Oh, look at these trams. He's carrying 11 people, but I, need, I should put uh, set line, what was it, line 19, there you go. Right, how many people is he carrying now? 33. That's good, that's good. Right, now what else are we going to do? Is that, uh, I think that's probably going to be it for this not a particularly successful episode. Um, there was some folly with this long viaduct here. Uh, and it, look at this, it's messed up the, the terrain a bit as well, isn't it? Where's my terrain tool? Is that it here? It's going to be expensive though, isn't it? Flapping it out, smoothing it. <sighs> it's expensive. Just make it look a little bit there. It makes it look a bit nicer. There we go. Uh, yeah, this guy. Is he even profitable? Finances. No, he's not. How much uh, has he got to pick up? I think 25, 24. How many can he carry? He can carry 32. So we do need more horses and carts. Hmm, maybe I'll replace him with more. I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll replace him with that that truck thing. Uh, line 26. Replacement. 
set vehicle will use that truck thing there. Okay. And yes, do automatically. Now I wonder if that I wonder if how long these things have been in service for. Let's have a look. Age, 51 years, so they should change almost immediately. In fact, yes he has. Now he's become this little truck. There he is. Looking nice. Let's speed things up and see if the rest change as well. Yep, he's changed. He's morphed. And they're changing up with the other one the other end as well. That's good. That will help that will help keep that uh, keep that terminal up there busy. So it was twenty four I think it was that we delivered last time, was it? Let's see how many we managed to get on this time. The train can take thirty odd. I don't think we can run two trains on that line because I'm not building a second line. I'm not building a second uh, line, a second um, track on that viaduct. It's too expensive. Oh, good. Okay. So when a train comes up, he should he should be able to take everything. Where is he? There he goes. That's good. So that will help him get into profit, and it will help keep this little area down here busy. How are we doing down here? I think what we need to do also is I was going to end the episode there but I think what we need to do is change these into the truck as well yeah we should have enough money to do that let's go to line one replacement vehicle set oh, come on, it's, it's 1902 it's the end of the era for the horse replacement vehicle not set okay set that one and do it automatically let's see if we can spot when our first truck arrives um, yeah, the age of the age of the horse is, is is gone. It's the age of the orc. I mean, I mean the age of the uh, truck. And does he change? Yes, he does. That would help as well. That would help get rid of uh, some of this food, this excess food we've got down here. Yeah, it's doing good. It's doing good now. Look, it's down to 122. And how does that mean that Cheltenham's doing? Still getting its fill of food. Yep, 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 good. Right, yeah, so we'll end the episode there. And I'll see you the next one. And what we'll probably try and do is extend this line down and run a, uh, a passenger service on a ferry on a ferry. I'll run our first our first waterborne passenger service down here, down to Strood, and replace this uh this rather uh long-winded carriage route down here sell them carriages okay so we'll see you next time bye bye